So good morning. So I will present the, the Framatom uh, commitment and engagement uh, dealing with advanced reactors and uh, taking benefit from our deep industrial foundations and for innovation and achievable, relevant, accessible solution. So I am Jean-Marie Ami from, uh, from Framatome, so I'm a manager of the Reactor and Design School department, and also uh, so uh, coordinates all the R&D for advanced reactor program within Framatome, and also all the, the teams involved uh, worldwide for the business development in the various regions, uh, uh, especially in Europe and North America. So Framatome is present on advanced reactor program for a while. Uh, for sure, we, we will contribute to the light water SMR New World. Uh, so it's a very motivating uh, program uh, for the, the, the French nuclear industry. And we will bring all our uh, solid foundations and experience to this project. In parallel, uh, we have a long track record when dealing with high temperature reactor technology. We start for the, in the 70s in Germany and uh, continue in France and uh, more recently in North America with the support of the US Department of Energy. And for instance, the two HTR modules that are in commissioning in China are based on some uh, techno bricks coming from uh, uh, our SIPs uh, uh, from, from Atom Germany in the past. Same for the sodium fast reactor technology. Uh, we were the uh, key industrial actor for the de uh, dealing with the French program. Uh, and during the last decades, Framatome teams were in charge of the design of all the nuclear system and the nuclear island of the Astrid demonstrator. So this project was led by CA. And we continue to investigate the sodium fast reactor technology on uh, uh, advanced modular uh, type design uh, you see, uh, you see in the middle. Uh, a few years ago, in 2014, we uh, started a collaboration with the CNRS on molten salt reactors, fast molten salt reactors, because we are uh, investigating interesting Gen 4 system for uh, ensuring the future uh, sustainable uh, nuclear energy, like we do with the sodium fast reactor. And uh, so this collaboration is now uh, is, is continuing and. Uh, we will be also part of the future ISAC project, uh, led by CEA, gathering CNRS, Orano, Framatome, and EDF, uh, to investigate the, 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 the possibility to, uh, for the transmutation of americium using the molten salt technology, and we, uh, uh, we push a proposal to BPI France in last November. Um, in the, in the 2000s, we are also leader in Europe uh, for the development of accelerator-driven system, uh, so, uh, leading of uh, development program funded by the uh, European Commission. This lead to the, the MIRA concept uh, pushed by uh, SCKCN in Belgium. And uh, at the present time, uh, we are delivering uh, engineering support to this project. Very recently, our colleagues of North America uh, were uh, selected, uh, uh, were part of a consortium selected by NASA uh, to, uh, to develop uh, nuclear fusion for thermal propulsion for space application. So we are present on those, all those technologies. So we are a vision and an ambition when speaking of advanced reactors. So our vision for sure is that nuclear is key to face the, the net zero CO2 challenge. Uh, and also uh, our vision is that we will have to reinforce nuclear usage beyond electricity production to address the 80% of primary energy not relying on electricity. And it is fully carbonized. Our ambition is to be an industrial leader servicing the future nuclear fleets, like we do today for the existing ones. Uh, of course, to contribute to the French SMR program, to the Gen 4 initiatives, uh, to secure durable uh, nuclear energy. So we are fully engaged for the future and active through R&D program uh, in Europe, in North America, through contract, and dealing with light water SMR technology, high temperature, uh, reactor, sodium fast reactor, accelerator driven system, uh, fluoride high temperature uh, design, molten salt reactor. So we get supply from the IRDP program of the US DOE, for instance, and we are part of the European platform, so dealing with nuclear sustainable energy, the SNE with Gen 4 system, and the NC2I 
pushing the HTR technology and the code generation. Uh, so in Europe, we will be the leader of the future Gen uh, Gemini 4.0. So the full name is Gemini 4.0 emission program dealing with HTR deployment in Europe um, and uh, gathering a uh, uh, lot of uh, institute and uh, industrial and end users. And also we will deal uh, for that with the uh, code generation and three generation electricity, heat and hydrogen. So how to manage this uh, very large spectrum of uh, technology? In fact, uh, there are synergies uh, among the disciplines and it's help to do that. Uh, core physics, high temperature process, materials, component design, and fuel, and also safety approach. Uh, and also, we address those different technologies based on our analysis of what will happen, based on two drivers, so the level of the technology readiness level of those technologies, and the envisaged time to market. And the, the, the goal for us is to anticipate and to calibrate our industrial action, to be present on time for the future deployment of such technologies. So we have a vision of how this will come, uh, and it is, it is the way we, 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 we actively prepare ourselves. So our value proposition concerning advanced reactors. Secure the project, accelerate the project, innovate. And I want to share with you our world proposition to animate this emergent ecosystem. Secure the project based on our unique industrial experience from the design to the licensing, the construction, the commissioning, the maintenance of nuclear system, up also to the decommissioning. And we do that for the Gen3 Plus system, the EPRs. It was a hard job. We learned a lot of things. We transformed the company. So we are ready to help and to secure projects. Also, we, we can take benefit on our industrial an international footprint, international industrial footprint, sorry, and our robust supply chain. So people pushing new project, new concept, they need industrial basis at a certain time. So we are we are we have that for the, we are we are present for that. So we can secure the projects. Second point, accelerate. We need to accelerate the deployment of nuclear system. So standardization. Standardization is a, we do we, we deploy a very big effort to standardize the product and the production. Uh, we have on the shell technology bricks and qualified solutions already licensed and available for nuclear applications. So that can accelerate the deployment of new system using on the shell techno bricks. People pushing new system, they have to validate them and to qualify. Them. So we have technical centers and uh, facility to do such validation tests and qualification tests for a very lot of uh, different technologies. Uh, and to accelerate also, we offer advanced manufacturing methods already on the shell and qualified for nuclear applications. So that's the way uh, we intend to accelerate. And for sure, for SMRs, Micro reactors deployment, standardization, for instance, will be very key for success. So, example of some major techno breaks. So, component manufacturing, relying on integrated organization, unique industrial assets. So, starting from forging, welding, ex uh, excellence center, uh, quality engineering, NDE. Uh, so, that's the we can do a lot of things for that, and for sure, we, uh, for instance, for the new world project. Uh, will, it will take benefit from that. We also offer safe, economic, reliable, and non fuel solution for SMRs. And that's the, uh, the point. So we, we, we have contract, for instance, with New Scale and Alltech for that. So we will supply fuel for uh, those, those projects. That's it. And uh, our solution are there securing fuel reloads and long-term operation. So we are on the shell fuel solution for your projects. INC and cybersecurity are very key for a new system 
especially for SMRs and micro reactors with some remote operation as envisaged. And we are uh, uh, um, available in qualified solution. And for instance, our INC system are already licensed in more than 30 countries worldwide. So secure the project, accelerate, innovate. Innovate, we do that. Uh, we deploy a sandbox for exp to experiment and to validate new engineering tools and practices. Um, this uh, deals with agile design sequences, design exploration and optimization, architecture selection with the help of digital tool, advanced digital simulation with meta models to accelerate very nonlinear computations, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, digital twins, design to manufacturing because we are a manufacturer, uh, so not only doing digital studies. And uh, the objective for us is to reduce the engineering sequence, to accelerate the prototyping for digital or physical markups, also uh, using simulators. And we have Coris within the Framatom group. And all those that new approach are capitalized through a very innovative uh, initiative called the, the Design School of Framatom. So with this design school, we validate and promote within the company these new practices. And the objective for us is also to be strongly connected outside the company. So for instance, uh, you see just a, a small video of the, uh, you can uh, visit a very complex nuclear plant uh, and also uh, have a direct vision of the radioactive environment. So it's uh, original development we do with Inframatom. Um, and just uh, the picture on the left is the, the CFD uh, based on uh, reduction, or, uh, model reduction, so we can have the zero CPU time CFD computations uh, to very accelerate the computations. So it's very new, it's very innovative. So the design school take benefit from a unique infrastructure, the spot. So it's a collaborative space gathering labs for brainstorming, creativity session, rapid prototyping, robotics, and virtual reality immersive experience. So we will take also, we have new premises in Lyon, Lyon Gerland, and we will have a, a new spot. We have a bigger space, and uh, it will help for uh, deploying our uh, design school. So our work proposal is to uh, animate the emergent ecosystem based on our design school. And this design school is for us a hub for uh, connecting all the future nuclear system and associated ecosystem uh, and to uh, connect people, actors, uh, so from the education to the uh, innovative SMEs and startups. Uh, so it's uh, a very open proposal, um, an ambition to uh, to animate this ecosystem, to uh, to find new um, new new approach to cooperate, and we are very open to to define to innovate in that way. Um, so we already have a partnership with uh, CNRS, with uh, Min Paritech, with Cambridge University, uh, with some PhD thesis we are doing uh, commonly, with INSA in Lyon, and some. Uh, uh, with the help uh, in the digital space uh, from ESI for the virtual reality, uh, Gigli system value for very innovative uh, digital tools for architecture selection and the management of complexity for early stage design. Adagos for a very innovative uh, generation of uh, neural networks uh, for nonlinear to accelerate nonlinear computations, and we deploy that for CFD, for electronics calculation, and core physics, and queries for simulator. And we can, we can use simulator at the also at the early stage of definition of new systems. 
So the proposal is to have a lot of new logo on this slide in the future, in the coming period. So you are welcome. And uh, please come to us. And uh, we are ready to, to, to find uh, the way to cooperate and to share, to share those new practice, to share the competencies we have on the technologies, and uh, to accelerate uh, the deployment, the investigation, and the deployment of new nuclear system. So for the next generation, we define four commitments. Uh, be attractive for the young generation of talents because we need a lot of talents to recruit. For the next generation of net zero generation and for the well-being of the future generation. So in a way, it is the new paradigm of the Gen 4 approach for, uh, proposed by Formatum. Yes. So let's design the future. Um, I just show you a video of the what we call the new s -read. So it's not the prototype one, the, uh, the initial one of 600 megawatt, but it is the new version we just delivered at the end of the project. We perform this, uh, so we start from the blank page and six months later, we already def already find all the architecture of the nuclear system. So it was, we experiment the agile conception phase, uh, but not with just few people on board. Uh, it was, we managed this six month agile design phase with uh, more than uh, 150 engineers on board. So it was the occasion to, uh, to experiment uh, uh, very advanced methods for, for designing new systems. So just uh, to show you some pictures of uh, the complexity of our, our nuclear reactors and uh, how to manage that, uh, even from the early stage design phase and uh, uh, with uh, the help of a lot of tools and competencies, uh, we can uh, very quickly uh, converge and propose new solutions, uh, architectures, uh, etc. So those, uh, those view, we can uh, also have a very nice uh, experience, immersive experience using the cave so, uh, and virtual reality. So you can uh, move within the installation at the scale one. And so it's very impressive to, uh, to check the arrangement, to validate the, the design. And it is a unique language uh, and a common language for all the disciplines. So people on safety or mechanical engineering or uh, Etc. or civil work, they, they all, all see the same pictures and we, we understand the design, we understand the progress of the design and so we can share and validate and it is very uh, helpful uh, to, uh, to see and to, to catch the whole pictures or details uh, if you want of such a complex, uh, uh, co complex design. So it's just an example of uh, what we, we, we have performed during uh, the execution of the Astrid project. And, uh, and now we are deploying such uh, methodology experience to, uh, to other uh, uh, advanced reactor system. So it just it, it, it will it will be at the end in a few seconds. So we'll see the at the end the, the, the spent fuel storage. Uh, so it's uh, all the things on on this design are not fully validated, but. Uh, we have the whole, uh, the whole system integrated, and we validate the whole arrangement. So thank you for your attention. We have, we have a few minutes for questions, if you want. Feel free to ask. What is your, your, your vision of the, uh, the future reactors? 
uh, because uh, I understood you were involved in many uh, different uh, design, uh, including generation four reactors, that in the near coming years, we understood that the um, conventional reactor, small SMR with conventional design will prevail. Uh, what is your, your feeling between uh, HDR and or, or the molten salt reactors, fast reactors? Yes, so the question is what is the vision about the deployment of the various technology in the future? Uh, oh, it's a, it's a key point. So I just said in the, uh, the beginning that we uh, we perform, of course, uh, deep analysis on that, and uh, and the best way to analyze the the things is to be uh, to be to be part of those projects. Uh, and the key the key aspect is the is the TRL, the technology readiness level, and also we are we are in the position to analyze uh, the maturity also regarding the manufacturing, and the, because it's not only a question of design. Uh, also, it's a question of licensing, and also to have the, the manufacturing, and to get the components, and especially also to have a fuel, and a qualified fuel. So all those things uh, conditions the time to market. So we have our own analysis of the time to market of the various technologies. Okay, And for sure, uh, light water SMRs are, uh, uh, use uh, t very uh, very known technology. Even they they they, they bring some new uh, new arrangement uh, or new system, uh, especially for the fuel. The fuel is on the share, and that's why we have the contract with uh, New Scale and Alltech. Um, uh, okay, uh, just also to recall that in parallel, large NPPs will continue to operate, uh, for sure. So gen free uh, systems, so the we are building them, we are commissioning them for 60 years. So, uh, so the future also uh, relies on gen, gen three plus system, so the EPRs for instance. And in parallel, for to, to, to enlarge and to, for to, to cope with new, uh, new um, uh, uh, applications, so light water SMRs. And the same for the others. But uh, in fact, the, the, the time to market will be uh, progressive. And, uh, and for sure, there is some specificity for high temperature nuclear process. If we want to enlarge, uh, for, for instance, the, the applications, other than electricity, uh, it's key to have high temperature nuclear system. system. So HTR, Gen4, etc. we'll see. Uh, but it, of course, for me, there is a, a big route with light water technology. So the big, uh, large NPPs, and we'll see what happens for the SMRs. And in parallel, for sure, we have to deploy high temperature nuclear process, so high, high, HTR, for instance. And Gen4 is, is mandatory because we need to have sustainable energy, nuclear energy. So Gen4 is are mandatory, but we have some time. And it is uh, in adequation with the, the time to leverage the maturity, especially for molten salt, for instance. The, I mentioned the ISAC project for the French team. Uh, the ambition of this project is to start from TRL2 to move to TRL3. So we are far from the TRL9, okay? A few minutes left for one or two questions. You're welcome. Okay, so it's all is clear. In fact, we have a lot of jobs to perform and a big challenge to, uh, to face, yes, for the future. So thank you for your attention. <laughs>